Hey guys, welcome back, and if you're new to this channel, my name's Stuart, thanks for joining me today. In this beginner's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up and add your Facebook pixel to your Shopify store, and walk you through how to track conversions on Facebook. Now, just quickly before we get started with today's tutorial, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing to stay updated with weekly actionable videos and tutorials designed to help your small business thrive online. And with that said, let's head over to my computer and let's get started. And one last thing, if I'm speaking too fast, feel free to click on the gear icon below the video and reduce the speed of this tutorial. I hope this helps. Okay, first things first, before we can set up and add our Facebook pixel to our Shopify store, we need to head over to our business manager. Now, if you don't already have a business manager, just head over to business.facebook.com and click this link here. And that's gonna take you to this page here if you don't already have a business manager then all you need to do is head over to create account but because we've already got a business manager we're going to skip through this section because it's very simple to do so and then what we're going to do is meet you at your business manager so if we click on this link here and this will take us to our business manager now all we need to do is come down here and click go to business settings now the next step is to create and add an ads manager account. So to do that, all we're going to do is click add and come down here and click create a new ad account. Then what you want to do is come up here and add your business name. So for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to use a business called Stuart's Source because I love my hot sauce. So that is going to be the fake business that we're going to use today for this tutorial. Then just come down here and select your time zone and then your currency. So we're gonna leave it as it is and come down here and click next. Then just come down here and select my business and come down here and click create. Then here what we wanna do is add people and set permissions. So I've got my account here, I'm gonna click my personal profile and come down here and give myself complete admin access. Then what you wanna do is click assign. And congratulations, you have just created your ads manager and that is now connected to your business manager. What you want to do now is actually set up your payments, but we're not going to talk about this because we want to jump into actually setting up and adding your Facebook pixel to your Shopify store. So we're going to come down here and click close. And then we're going to navigate down to data sources. And then we're going to come down and click pixels. Then we're going to navigate over here and click add pixel. Now down here we want to name our pixel. So ideally you want to name it the same as your business. So we're going to type in Stuart Source here. Then we want to come down here and add our website URL. So if we head over to our Shopify store and then on our Shopify backend, which is where we are now, we want to look at our store and get the website URL. So to do that, we can come down to our online store and view it. Then all we need to do is come over here and copy our website URL and then head back over to our Facebook pixel setup. And once we're back here, all we need to do is paste our website URL in here and then click continue. Then come down here and select setup pixel now. And then because we're using Shopify, we can actually add the code using a partner integration, meaning we don't have to touch any code and this is great for beginners. So click this option up here and then come down here and click Shopify. Then here we want to make sure that we've turned on automatic advanced matching and then click continue. And here we just have a brief overview of how to install the pixel, but we're going to continue through this because we're going to show you how to do it. And now that we're on the paste pixel ID, all we need to do to install our pixel is to copy this code down here and head back to our Shopify store. And then in our Shopify backend, all we need to do is head over to online store and then come down to preferences. Under preferences, all we need to do is navigate down here till we find Facebook pixel. And then we just need to copy that pixel ID in here and come over and click save. Then once you've saved your settings here, just navigate back over to the Facebook pixel installation. 
And now that we've pasted this ID into our Shopify store, we can come down here and click continue. Now, all we need to do is put in our website URL again in here just to test that the pixel is working properly. So once you've got your website URL again, just paste it down below here. And then come across and send test traffic to see if your pixel is working properly. What this is going to do is open up your new website and test that the traffic is working, test that the pixel is working correctly. Then all you need to do is head back to that pixel installation process. And it should only take a few moments to show that your pixel is active. And when you see this little green active uh, notification down here, come across and click continue. And congratulations, you have just completed the initial setup to adding and installing your Facebook Pixel on your Shopify store. Now what we want to do is track conversions. So we need to set up some events. So to do that, what we're going to do is come down here and click close. And then come over here and click open events manager. And come down here and just paste your website URL in here again and click open website. Then navigate back to that page we were just on. And you can see that there was a page view. So all this is now working. Now what we want to do is track conversions happening on your website. So to do that, all we need to do is head over to overview. And remember, this is with the Facebook pixel. So we want the pixel to send us information when someone has purchased something from our website. So to add a purchasing event on our website to track those conversions, all we need to do is come down here and click add event and then click on from the pixel. Now using this event setup tool, this is a relatively new feature. This is one of the easiest options to use the pixel, the Facebook pixel to manage and track events happening on your website. For example, a purchase on your website. So to get started, all we need to do is come down here and click launch event setup tool. Then here we just need to add our website URL once again and click open website. Then what you'll notice on your website is this little Facebook event setup tool, this little tab up on the left hand corner that you can move around. Now what we want to focus on is events on particular pages. So essentially what we can do is use all events. So there are currently no events set up for this pixel. So we're going to focus on events on this page. Now to do that, all we're going to do is focus on track new button because when someone, when a customer clicks a button, for example, buy now, that's going to notify Facebook. That's going to notify the Facebook pixel that a customer has purchased a product and they have converted. And that's exactly what we want to track. Now, if I click track new button, you will see this little notification down here. Click on a highlighted button to set up your event. So for example, if I wanted to track add to cart, I could click this button here and then I could come across here and select add to cart and confirm. So for example, now if someone clicks on this button up here, the add to cart tracking code will fire and the Facebook pixel will notify me that someone has added a product to cart. But what we want to focus on is we want to focus on purchase. So what we need in order to track the purchase is head all the way over to the purchase, the final page that the customer will land on before they purchase a product. So we're going to quickly do that now. So we're going to click cancel and then come down here and click on this one product that we have, Stuart Super Hot Sauce. And then we're going to come down here and click more payment options. And then here, what we're going to do is quickly add our information, our contact information here. And this is the page where we want to be because we want to track when a customer converts. And to do that, we want to track this pay now button. So if a customer clicks pay now, they convert into a customer, a paying customer. And that is what we want to track so that when someone does click on this button and they do convert, we can track that through the Facebook pixel and we will be able to identify when a customer converts from Facebook. So to track conversions, all we want to do is click track new button and then click the pay now button and then select an event. So we're going to select purchase. Now, because this is a beginner's tutorial, we're just going to choose a value on this page. 
So we want to come up here and select the total amount over here. Now because we're in New Zealand, the NZ dollar is the amount we are tracking. So we're going to select $23. That is the value on this page. And then we can change the currency if we like, but we're going to leave it as USD. And then all we need to do now is come over here and click confirm. And as you can see, that has been completed. The purchase event is live and being tracked. So congratulations, we have now set up your Facebook pixel and we are now tracking conversions that are happening on your Shopify store. And it's as simple as that to add your pixel and track conversions. And now I just want to quickly show you when you start advertising with Facebook, you can start tracking those purchases, those conversions. For example, with this ad set here, with this ad or this campaign here, we had 10 purchases which amounted to $21.52 per purchase. And that is all recorded because of the Facebook pixel and because of the purchase event that we had just set up. So you can track and manage your purchases versus how much you're spending per ad to see if you're making a positive ROI, return on investment. And there we have it, it's as simple as that. And that is it for today's quick tutorial. You should now have your Facebook Pixel installed and tracking set up on your Shopify store. Now, if you have any questions about this process, make sure to leave those questions down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like below this video. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe. And that way I will see you in the next video. Take care guys.